Imagine that you're driving down a straight, level road. You loosen your grip on the steering wheel to see if the vehicle holds alignment. Steadily and slowly, the vehicle begins to stray off course. The problem is easily corrected with the steering wheel, and you don't have to struggle to keep the steering wheel and vehicle straight. This condition is known as drift. A slight drift can be considered acceptable because of conditions such as road crown or crosswinds. Pull is like drift, but much stronger. Vehicle pull is felt in the steering wheel. Constant counter steer in the opposite direction of the pull is needed to make the vehicle travel straight. If you were to release the steering wheel, the vehicle would immediately veer to the side of the pull. Tires are important steering components because they're the connection between the vehicle and the road. It's important that a vehicle has the proper wheel size and tire size, and that the tires are properly inflated. A vehicle will tend to drift or even pull in the direction of an underinflated tire. If you rotate or swap the tires and the pull or drift changes, the tires are the most likely cause. You should inspect the tire tread for unusual wear or defects. Brakes are not usually associated with steering concerns. However, a dragging brake on any wheel can cause a drift condition. If a brake caliper or wheel cylinder is frozen, a pull could result. All brake calipers should be inspected for proper operation. Be sure to inspect the brake rotors for any signs of excessive heat or caliper drag. A defective rotary valve in the power steering system could cause a drift or pull concern by constantly providing assist in only one direction. If caster is unequal, one side is negative and the other side is positive, a pull condition can occur. The vehicle will pull to the side that has the least amount of positive caster. If camber is unequal, a pull will occur to the side with the most positive camber. If the front wheel alignment is within specifications, there may be a concern with the rear thrust angle. If the rear thrust angle is misaligned, the vehicle will tend to pull in the opposite direction of the thrust angle. When diagnosing a pull condition, pay close attention to large differences in side to side SAI and included angle. Large side to side differences in SAI or included angle can indicate a bent component that causes the vehicle to pull. Wander can be caused by worn or damaged components and certain out of spec alignment angles. Click the subtopics to learn how they can cause wander. Let's start with the tires. Improperly inflated tires may cause a wandering concern. Wheel bearings should not exhibit any looseness or play. Worn ball joints or suspension bushings can cause excessive play in the steering system. This excessive play results in steering wander. A tight ball joint can cause poor steering returnability. Constant correction for this condition could be described as wander. At the top of the strut is a bearing that allows the strut to rotate inside the strut tower. This bearing supports the entire weight of the vehicle chassis at one corner of the vehicle. If the strut bearing develops an abnormal wear pattern or becomes loose, wandering may result. Rock the steering back and forth and watch carefully for any strut movement inside the tower. If you observe the strut wobbling inside the tower, the strut bearing plate may be worn, requiring replacement. The steering gear is firmly mounted to the vehicle chassis. If these mounts loosen, play or looseness in the steering system result in a wander condition. You should make sure the steering gear is properly mounted. Problems with the steering column are rare. However, the steering column shaft secures the connections at each point between the steering gear rotary valve and the steering wheel. If the connections along the steering column are loose, a wandering symptom will be present. Insufficient positive caster causes a lack of directional stability. If the steering axis is too close to zero degrees, the point at which the tire pivots is nearly straight up and down. This means that the forces that lead the tire in a specific direction are diminished. To correct this condition, you should review the caster specification for both front wheels and make the proper adjustments. Excessive total front toe out or negative toe can cause wander. Improper weight distribution can greatly affect handling. It is important to note vehicle loading when diagnosing a symptom such as wander. An off-center steering wheel is more than something that looks out of place to the driver. An off-center steering wheel prevents the driver from having a center point of steering reference to maintain vehicle control. 
It also blocks his or her view of the instrument panel, resulting in a lack of clear vision. Sometimes an off-center steering wheel is simply the result of misadjusted front toe. Other causes may include bent steering linkage, worn power steering rack isolator bushings, or a misaligned or damaged subframe. If the thrust angle is out of specification, the driver has to turn the steering wheel so that the direction of the front wheels matches the direction of the rear wheels, resulting in an off-center steering wheel. This is also commonly referred to as dog tracking. Some causes of an out-of-specification rear thrust angle include a bent frame, misadjusted rear toe, or bent or damaged rear suspension components. A shimmy is a side-to-side -side movement most often felt in the steering wheel. Depending on the cause, a shimmy can sometimes worsen or diminish with speed. A shimmy can lead to premature failure of a vehicle's steering and suspension components, especially the tires. The constant shaking places undue stress and wear on most components. It also makes for a less than comfortable ride. A number of things may cause a shimmy concern. For example, a shimmy may be caused by too much positive caster. Out of balance wheels or tire defects can cause a shimmy condition. If you suspect a tire defect, inspect it closely for runout or tread separation. Also try rotating the tires to see if the condition changes. If so, you've isolated the source of the shimmy. A shimmy could be caused by worn or misadjusted wheel bearings. A bent wheel hub could also cause a shimmy. Even a small amount of hub runout is multiplied through the wheel and tire. Looseness, excessive wear, or damage to a ball joint or bushing may cause excessive play in the steering system, resulting in a shimmy. Steering gear mounts are an important inspection point when diagnosing a shimmy concern. Any looseness in the steering gear mounts causes excessive movement in the steering linkage, resulting in a shimmy. If one edge of the tire is severely worn and the rest of the tread is relatively even, it could be a sign of excessive camber. If the camber adjustment is too positive, the tread wear occurs on the outside edge. Too much negative camber causes tread wear on the inside edge. Some tires may exhibit a sawtooth or feathered wear pattern on the tread. If so, the front or rear toe may be out of adjustment. If the high spots of the tread face toward the center of the vehicle, this indicates excessive toe-in. If the high spots of the tread face away from the center of the vehicle, it indicates excessive toe-out. An underinflated tire causes excessive wear on the edges of the tread. Typically, the center tread of an underinflated tire is worn considerably less. If the edges are in good shape and the center of the tread shows excessive wear, an overinflated tire is likely the cause. A cupped or scalloped wear pattern on the tire tread is very distinct. It usually indicates a worn suspension component, such as a shock or strut assembly. This type of tire wear may produce a vibration felt as a shimmy in the steering wheel. Some symptoms are closely related to vehicle alignment, including drift, pull, wander, shimmy, an off-center steering wheel, and excessive tire wear. Worn or damaged components can cause misalignment. Sometimes, symptoms can be caused by factors such as improper vehicle loading or misalignment.